things you shouldn't say. We're live, everybody. Good morning. With my man Justin Mitchell here. We're just sitting around, ball busting. That's right. A little bit out overlooking the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. That's nice. Uh huh. Just waiting for the people to come on in. What are you drinking there, Justin? What do you got there? This is the the famous Sean Daniel double shot. It's a double shot of espresso. Yeah. Lots of love. Lots of talent. With lots the of the bold roast. Is it? You know, there's not so much technique that goes into the uh, the espresso. More technique goes into the uh, the latte. Oh yeah, for sure. Because um, the steaming sure. is. Yeah, steaming. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to Good see morning. you. Everybody, now they're rolling on in. Hey. That's right. We're here. We are here. With my man Justin Mitchell. That's right. And you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna bust some balls. Mainly on kids. We're gonna hate. We're gonna hate on things for a little bit. That's right. And I think we're gonna start with hating on children. Yeah, for sure. Right? Like, what better way to kick it off? Do you yeah. wanna Do you wanna start? Yeah. So I was on um, Instagram last night. I like uh, um, Animals as Leaders and Scale the Summit. Like oh those man! Kind of like uh, solid bands. Yeah, for sure. Metal stuff. And so I was trying to find some lessons on maybe how to play in that style. Play some Animals as Leaders stuff. Yeah. yeah. I just because I, you know, very few people on earth can do that. Yeah. yeah That's and, good stuff. You know, like. I I understand arpeggios, right? You know, so I feel You're, like I feel like I have the 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 technical understanding. I just got to put the pieces together. Wrong. It's super hard. Not only is it super hard, <laughs> is it's super hard, and there are children who can do it. And and so like you know, last night Instagram crushed my ego. Yeah. Because of like fourteen year old kids who are just like they're just <laughs> they're just shredding. Yeah, it's awful. And they're like bored while yeah, they do it absolutely. too. Absolutely, it's terrible. Yeah. Uh huh. It's messed up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're we're hating on children who are better guitar players than we are. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Which is huh. which, which brings up the question. Last night I was trying to figure out is is what what makes you a, a good guitar player? When can you say that you're a good guitar player? Well, young Sean instantly thought he was a good guitar player because right, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, pretty yeah, awful right, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know what makes a guitar just being able to play what you can hear. Yeah, I think hey. I think that's what makes a good guitar player. Well, I mean, player. I hear animals as leaders. And you I hear it well. <laughs> Maybe you try hearing a little less. That's right. You're hearing up here. <laughs> yeah. You need to hear down <laughs> here <laughs> a little lower more. Lower my expectations yeah. for myself. Uh, that's that's what makes fair. a good guitar yeah, player. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can hate on uh, Amazon Prime Day for a little bit. Amazon Prime Day? That was a disappointment. Dude. This he didn't know about it. Yeah, see? Yeah, he hates on kids too, right? Yeah. Freaking kids. I have a complaint about Amazon Prime Day too. Do you want to start? No, I want you to start. Okay, so Amazon Prime Day, they bill it as like this awesome day where like there are deals galore on everything. Mm-hmm. There are no good deals. Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh, hate on Ian? Yeah, we'll hate on Ian in a minute. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so like there are like music deals on Amazon Prime right. Day. It was like the cheapest crap. Oh, like yeah. soprano ukuleles galore. Well, like what a great deal on a soprano ukulele. Well, here's the thing. They. Uh, accidentally, so everybody knows Korg, the company, right? They make tuners, they make um, uh, synthesizers, sure. all kinds of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So they have this uh, series called the Volca, V O L C A series. They're these little synths. They have a drum drum I've machine, seen those, yeah. an uh-huh. FM synthesizer, all different types. I want an FM synthesizer. They sound super weird. You need an FM synthesizer, See, bro. Dude. Gear bro. Mm-hmm. A gear bro. That's how it and works. So, which I don't know if we ever did a video on the gear bro. I, oh, the gear bro video coming it's soon. Coming. Watch out for that, That's everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyhow, uh, Amazon they're they're usually like two hundred bucks, right? So on Prime Day, Amazon puts them up for one hundred and twelve, but it was a mistake. It only lasted an hour, and then they re they took it back. What? Yeah. So I was on Reddit, and uh, somebody on the synthesizers Reddit was like, "Hey." Like, go now, buy one, even if you're going to resell it. And then uh, Amazon had fixed it by then. It was only up for, like, maybe an hour. So that's my gripe. Come that's on now. Man hating I on. saw it for 112. Yeah. I couldn't buy it. Speaking of hate, how about my own subscribers hating on me? What's this? Sean seems like the kind of guy that would shake your hand at a party and bring you a beer. Then once you let your guard down, he would leave with your girlfriend. That's true. Man. Because he knows hey. my girlfriend has anxiety. <laughs> and she didn't want to be at the party, but he wanted me to still have a good time. So he tucked her into bed. He came back. That's right. It's the gentlemanly thing Come to do. Uh-huh. See, it makes me look so bad when you say it like that. Right, that, right. But the truth is a little more complicated as it usually is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm drinking a cold brew. Homemade cold brew. Right. With uh-huh. almond milk? Uh, coconut milk. Ugh. Yeah. You don't really? No. Do coconut milk? I hate it at yeah. first. Speaking of hating on things, coconuts. Don't like coconuts. Don't like shredded coconuts yeah. and cake. Ruins a cake, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. I hated coconut milk for the longest time. It's magically. I mean, it's, a, it's a silent killer. You know? 
people yeah. take naps under a tree, coconut falls, then they're dead. Done. Squash. Life over. Right? Oh. Oh. And you put that on cake? It's yeah, murder. yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> How, it triggers me. Yeah, I know. Right? Right? I think of my cousin so who died tra- that way. So what was your transition? I I accidentally drank coconut milk, mm-hmm. and it was just a, a flip head switch. Yeah. Just like that. Now, I need to be sponsored by some... I need to be sponsored by more people in general, right? I bought a sp- Telecaster Special Edition for 112 ordered and still have a hold on my funds. What? what? Marty, what is that about? from Amazon? That's terrible. Yeah. Damn, Marty. You know, everybody contact Amazon and hit on them a little bit. Yeah. Plus, I was getting Amazon emails this morning from a company called X5. And it's like, Amazon... It's like, don't miss Prime Day. And then they had the date, and it was days ago. Mm-hmm. What are my thoughts on PRS guitars? PRS guitars are awesome. PRS guitars are awesome. By the way, Justin used to like run a guitar shop, so if you have any guitar shop questions, let this guy know. This guy know. This guy is like a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. He was talking about microphonic tubes this morning, and I was like nodding, like pretending I understood <laughs> what he was talking about. It's whatever. Hey, that's yeah. cool. I just had to have both my tube amps serviced, <laughs> and that was like. I was nervous, man. It was like my babies. I had to drop them off. Mm-hmm. I always look like you just don't want to be there in Sean's head, but now you actually seem like you're kind of... Like, hey, here's the thing. I'm super tired every time we do one of these yeah, videos. Yeah, it always comes over like 7 a.m. It's always 7 a.m. Again, not my fault. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely a hickey. No, there's a birthmark, people. Yeah. Everybody thinks that's a hickey. I'm so self-conscious. About well, it is a hickey. Yeah. So, you know, we're talking about... Oh, look at this Osprey. You're missing the wildlife show behind So, us. um... Well, we were talking about coconut milk. Yeah, okay, so here's the deal. There's some people where I train at jiu-jitsu, and they drink coconut water. And they're like, oh, it's so good for you. It's got a ton of potassium and et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, and they gave me some. And I was like, why would you want to put that in your mouth after training? Like, it's terrible. It's awful. Yeah. It tastes terrible. Do you like, so you like coconut milk. Do you like coconut water? Okay, there's different types of coconut water. <sighs> Straight up. 90% of coconut water I don't like. Drinking co- drinking water out of a coconut, I'm all about that. Eh? That's where it's at. Eh? You ever is done that? that? The, is that the thing? Oh, bro, dude, oh, yeah. yeah, you need to. <laughs> Get yourself to the farmer's market, son. Yeah, yeah, you need yeah. to, man. The green, you're, you're so not. the green coconut. I'm talking about any coconut. I've never had, I've, I've, Dude, I've, real OGs <laughs> drink water out of a coconut. But see, that's the thing. Court guitars just need an acoustic. Like, what do you guitar. think about court? I think that they're really good for like uh, uh, low to mid range kind of performer guitars, you know. Especially like I think like if you play live a lot and like you plan on going to like open mics and stuff, <coughs> you want to have a good guitar that sounds good, but it's not going to get you know you're not worried about it getting beat up. Like I think a court's probably right there. Someone just potentially opened a Pandora's box with Justin. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that comment. No, no. Multi effects pedal or pedal board? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> So the thing is, Hope you guys have a while. <laughs> so um, I would say that it depends on what your goals are and what you currently have. So here's the thing: if your goal is to record music at home, right? Uh huh. And you are gonna have to buy an interface and you're gonna have to buy this gear and all that stuff. Then I would get either a digital unit like guitar rig, sure. or I would get like a Line Six M13. Right. Okay. I mean, like, uh, or an M9. I mean, John Mayer uses an, an M9 in addition to his Does it really? pedal board. Yeah, it's no like, kidding. yeah, multi. It's like a little multi effects thing, you know. Hey, I answered the court. We we talked about we court. Talked about eh? court yeah. Guitars. Don't. Yeah. Just because you went out to go grab some coconut water and came back. You know. That's right. And then, oh, somebody else said they're from Russia. What's the weather like? The weather is insanely hot in Florida no, right now. It's not. Right now, it's kind of perfect. It's gonna get terrible though. Yeah, it's like 80 degrees, sunny Florida. You know. But anyways. Right. So then, I mean, like, if you're, but if your goal is to, like, you know, find your tone. If your goal is to be Justin Mitchell, what do you do? Then uh, what do you do? Oh, you build a spaceship. Yeah. His pedal board is, like, incredible. Like, it blinks in concert with each other. Oh, yeah. I have everything MIDI synced. So, like, uh, I have one tap button, and it controls all of the... uh, uh, all of the lights, or yeah. all the tempos anyway. Yeah, his pedal board is awesome. We're going to do some videos on his pedal board in general. Yeah, probably because it's... within the next week, actually. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, Jimmy or SRV? Yeah, a couple people asked that. Come on. How do you answer? I mean, who, like, yeah, who, you who, who do you Jimmy. think you're talking you to? Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Hendrix, 100%. Yeah. I like SRV, too. Yeah. But, yeah. you know. Should I try bias effects? I've never tried bias effects. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah, we need to get on that. Yeah, so... You know, um, they also have uh, um, act, like rack mount gear, right? Like axe effects. Yeah, and things uh-huh. like that. that's and kind of the new. Really, that's the new thing yeah. for sure. Yeah, 
Oh, thanks for your advice on court. No, thank there you, you for, for... I had a court for a while. A court, yeah. well, I didn't actually own it, but it was in this house forever. I want to get a used Jag off Reaver, but I'm obsessed with the idea that oh, fretware probably doesn't show in pictures. How long would a guitar need to be used before? It could be an issue. So, uh, that's actually a really hard question to answer, right? Because, like, whenever I was first starting to play, um, <clears throat> I put dents in my frets within a few months because I was playing constantly, <coughs> constantly, constantly, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you can ask them, I mean, if you're trying to buy something on off Reverb, you can ask them, you know, for uh, uh, a picture, you know, I especially like, think about where people play a lot of chords, you know, um, so like I would look at like the first fret and the second fret uh, and maybe like have them spread the string out and then take a picture of in between the string. Um, and I would also check down at like E minor pentatonic, like 12th fret where everybody jams out and shreds. That's right, mm, yeah. that's the, the hot zone. Yeah, and then as far as like the fret board, that should be pretty easy uh, to see. And even if that's a little bit dirty, you can um, you could get it clean like gently with steel wool. So that's not really a big issue, you know? Yeah, that's cool. Now, um, another question. What do you think of Slash in the reunion tour? Oh man. Cause we're ball busting. Yeah, I can uh, hate on some Guns N' Roses reunion nonsense. Uh, you know what? I saw a picture of Slash last night while I was on Instagram looking for uh, guitar lessons. And Is he like in a bikini, nah, doing man. yoga? No, nah, he had a, <laughs> That's kind of my Instagram. Experience. He had a he had a double a double neck guitar, and then everybody was just praising him for holding the double neck guitar. And I got salty about it. I was like, man, I could hold a double neck. He's not even for playing. sure. Yeah, I can wear a hat. I can wear a hat and hold a double neck. <laughs> Does he, you think Slash dyes his hair? He must, right? That, that's a question to you. Slash yeah. must dye his hair. He's even pretty old, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not not the biggest Guns N' Roses fan, personally. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Slash isn't really my guy. Like I said before, every time I think of Slash, I think of him standing out in front of an abandoned church in the middle of the desert, uh, mm -hmm. playing guitar, smoking right. a cigarette. But Ian loves Slash. It is a wig. You think it's a wig? It's connected to the hat. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Are you gay? Is there a lot of sweat because I don't like this? Slash? Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, somebody was asking about higher string action for raking, and I think they might be referring to sweet picking, and, like, some of the shredders that I've met uh, keep it lower than I even like it. It basically, like, almost rests on the fret. Um, and then a lot of them use like one of those um, kind of like uh, capos that, you know, like with the, the, it'll be like a sock or a towel and it kind of mutes the strings. And then when they huh. tap, when they tap and sweep, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Have you seen them? I mean, not really. Well, if People you watch, have been telling me if about you watch it, anybody with like a super trendy hairdo shred on guitar on YouTube or Instagram, they'll have one of these yeah. like towel socks over the top of their fretboard. Oh, that way when you yeah, tap, yeah, 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 you know yeah, nine, yep. Yeah, yeah. So, right. you know, Guthrie mm -hmm. Govin, I love, man. Guthrie's pretty great. Guthrie, I, I do like Guthrie yeah. a lot. Uh, I'm not really into those kind of players most of the time. What do you mean those kind? You mean good ones? Excellent <laughs> ones? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind yeah, of, yeah. yeah, yeah uh -huh. I know, I know. Someone asked Satriani or Vi. <laughs> right. I would say Vi, I guess. Do you not have an opinion on Satriani? I guess, I guess, yeah, I don't. I don't. I guess actually, yeah, I'd probably have to say that I prefer Steve Vai. Like if those, if if I had like whatever you consider to be their their best album, and yeah. I was stuck in a room and I had to listen to one of them, I'd probably listen to Steve Vai. I like Satriani's personality a little Johnny bit more. Greenwood. Johnny Greenwood. Oh man, there we go. See, that's that's my guy right there. Yeah, yeah. I freaking love love him. I'm trying to arrange for fingerstyle guitar, but when I see the guys playing on YouTube, I feel overwhelmed. They're all comp. Oh, I missed it. Eh? They use all complex shapes to play chords. I have no clue about any thoughts. Man, here's what I would tell you is um, you can buy uh, thin, real small books that will be like beginning classical guitar, and it'll teach you like um, uh, green sleeves and like Malaganya and stuff like that. But it'll teach you really like <laughs> simplified versions of them, and I would do that. Um, because it teaches you claw hammering, you, you'll get the idea for moving bass lines uh, while you're changing these chord shapes. And it'll be doing everything with chord shapes you already know, like C and G and things like that. You know? <clears throat> and then so as you're playing with those, those other chord shapes will look less complicated uh, because you'll start seeing that um, as you're moving your hand around you know, through these like, classical pieces, you'll start to see uh, the actual chord shapes that are underneath what you're playing. 
and then you'll start you know actually just leaving your hand somewhere where you might have you know you might have like actually put your finger down and and moved each note individually as you're finger picking and stuff um, once you get more comfortable with like these beginner books you'll like I said you'll just leave your hand there and, and then let your right hand do all of it. I would like to add something to that oh yeah so you know how sometimes you'll see these just crazy contorted chord shapes yeah. which can be overwhelming mm -hmm. like I gotta learn all these chords you don't really necessarily have to learn all the chords I think you just have to find the melody from chords you already know and that kind of organically changes your hand shape oh yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. that's kind of like how I am the mm -hmm. finger style arrangement. It's more taking existing chord sh shapes you know and then kind of finding that stuff around there. Justin, do you like Fiona Apple? I do, yeah. Really? Yeah, Thank yeah. you. See, that's yeah. why Justin's like my best friend. Yeah, so actually Sean's yeah. the one who got me to listen to uh, Fiona Apple because I didn't, um, uh, and St. Vincent. You know, yeah, I think now we're are, talking. Those are the two people Now that we're talking the ladies of rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, Ian doesn't like Fiona Apple. In fact, he just scoffs. Wait, wait, time out. Has Ian, first of all, I, I, I didn't even finish reading your question, I'm sorry, but I, I gotta go right here. You're, Ian doesn't like Fiona Apple. Has Ian ever listened to Fiona See, that's Apple? the thing. You know? Probably not. Ian, Ian doesn't listen to any new music. Chinese water to torture, I take it. Uh, oh, Joe Biden must. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, yeah, Ian doesn't listen to any new music, basically. Like, ever. Yeah. But he just hates, yeah. So here's the thing, at the guitar store that I used to manage, um, Ian ran the lessons portion. He like rented two rooms in the back, which is how Sean and I met, you know, almost it's 10 years ago. It's been Man, are you kidding me? It's been 10 years? Yeah, just about. Oh my gosh. About, I wow. Think, I think we were, uh, I think I was 20 when we met. Man. So yeah, it's been just almost there. So anyhow. It's been a good uh, decade. Solid and, decade of friendship. And so whenever no, no customers were in the store, I'd either be playing guitar or I would have music playing while I did other stuff. And Ian never liked the music I was playing because it wasn't Fish. If it wasn't <laughs> Fish or it wasn't Zeppelin, it wasn't happening. My gosh. Jimmy doesn't, he doesn't even like Jimi Hendrix. Ian. And then I saw him post a video on YouTube. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, coming. yeah okay, and yeah. And then I saw him post a video on YouTube. How to play like Hendrix. How to play like Whatever. Hendrix. How, you, Whatever, mm. Ian. Nice oh, yeah. try. Nice try. Yeah. Poser. I'm gonna post my how to play like Trey Anastasia That's video. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fish, fish. Sucks. Here's how to play triplet yeah. arpeggio. We already. Yeah, come on, video. come on, Ian. Yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't listen to new music. Nope. He doesn't like Fiona Apple because he never listened to Fiona Apple. He doesn't. <clears throat> he says he likes Elliot Smith because he knows how to play Junk Bond Trader. Oh, whatever. So he thinks he's like an Elliot Smith fan all of a sudden, and he loves Guns and Roses. How are you even friends? Yeah. You know, Ian is a god. Get out of here with that nonsense. Come on. Go hey, on. Go on. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Ian is one of my favorite people in the world. And that, that's, I think that's, you know, I feel comfortable mm -hmm. tearing him to absolute pieces. Yeah, of course. Pointing out every one of his flaws, which uh -huh. there are many. Yeah, you know, sure. So, uh, it's because too I many him, to mention. I want him to be better than, than what he is. Exactly. You know? I'm we see, to we see the up. potential in Ian. That's right. And really, so if you guys love Ian, it's only... A, the Ian you know is the Ian that Justin and I allowed him to be. That's right. So that's, that's right. kind of like our work in progress. <laughs> that's right. That you're getting to that's witness. Right. Yeah. So if you think it, he's a god, as some of you had said, right. it's mostly because he's a reflection on what we've made him into, right? Yeah. Ian Rose Session. What else can we talk about, Ian? He's getting better, I guess. <laughs> he needs to he needs to trim his beard. Man, I saw him last night on that live thing. Did you? His beard his beard's getting out of control. He but Ian, Ian's channel? beard like grows like a weed. Yeah, it's, it kind, does. it's kind of amazing. Yeah, it Don't forget he's balding. I'm not gonna go there. That's mean. But I, but the the hair he has left, the way he slicks it, looks pretty cool actually. Does it? He looks kind of like a like an '80s action movie villain, I think, when he does that. But yeah, Ian's pretty awesome. I keep sneezing all day. Don't look at the Stop sun. Thinking. You won't sneeze. There you mm -hmm. go. Do you know why you sneeze when you look at the sun? Why? Because there's a nerve that well, thumbs connects. Up, thumbs up to you, buddy. Yeah. What? What did they say? He said he thumbs down us uh, twice. So I'm just oh gonna... thumbs down twice because so, we're making fun of Ian. Yeah. There's a there's a nerve. Your optical nerve is connected to like your nose or whatever. Mm -hmm. So when you get hit with a flash of bright light, it triggers that and you sneeze. Did you know my wife did the 23 and Me and it said uh, yeah, she's genetically uh, uh, what's the opposite of predisposition? She doesn't have that. Post disposition. <laughs> yes, she is post disposed. <laughs> post disposed. Is he talking not... about ten thousand hour, ten thousand rule, being I didn't, ten thousand hour I deliberate didn't see. practice? I don't know. I think that's what he's talking about. The Malcolm about. Gladwell thing. Yeah, yeah. So I think that uh, it applies, but um, I think that a lot of people think that it's just ten thousand hours of doing something, but it's specifically ten thousand hours of deliberate practice. Is that really true? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I think there's a that's the Malcolm Gladwell that's right. theory that yeah. it takes ten thousand hours to like master something. Right. And I mean, I, I I think I've done the math a few different ways, but that's pretty much like you know doing something uh, every day for about ten years. You know. I mean, yeah. Sure. I kind of have a little bit of beef with that. Yeah. I love Malcolm Gladwell. He's right. got a great podcast. Yeah, for you sure. Should, you should check out if you haven't uh, heard it. But uh, I think that kind of doesn't take into account the depth of th- of certain things. Mm-hmm. You know. How do you mean? Like. Like mastering a guitar has, or, or mastering like chess has more depth than mastering like, you know, hungry hippos, or something. Mm-hmm. There's more depth to it, eh? right. and I think the depth kind of has takes into account. I don't know, whatever. Who am I though? I'm not Malcolm Gladwell. Is it necessary to play guitar every day? No, not necessary. <clears throat> no. Mm-hmm. You just have to do what uh, 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 what's related to your goals, you know. Favorite podcasts, favorite music podcasts. Uh, music podcasts. There's a good one you turned me on to that you should all listen to. Song, Song Exploder. Exploder. Yeah, that's a Super cool one. Cool. Yeah, they take uh, they take musicians and they um, kind of break down uh, one of their recent hit songs. Uh, uh, and sometimes, like they even did a Thundercat breakdown. So sure. sometimes it's not even like uh, popular. Sometimes stuff. they do movie soundtracks. That's true. They did yeah. the uh, Arrival. Yeah, I and think. they did the yeah. one for uh, Mars. Matt Matt Damon and Mars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, the Martian. Um, yeah, music, song exploder. Right, right, right. Yeah, sorry. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, and <clears throat> let's see. So, my favorite podcast, probably non music related, has got to be uh, either Freakonomics or Radio Lab. Both of those. I just I've, I, I don't think I've ever not listened to an episode. You know, sometimes you mm-hmm. like like Snap Judgment is cool or something, or you know, but then like halfway through some of them, I just don't feel it. You know. All Songs Considered on NPR. All Songs Considered is really good. good. One. Yeah. Bob yeah. Boylan. Love that yeah. guy. He's pretty cool. Um, uh, what are some other good ones? <laughs> I listen to Zach Lowe because I'm a basketball guy, NBA guy. He's got a good one. Bill Simmons. The yeah. Nerdist. I think The Nerdist has some cool guests depending on yeah. Chris Hardwick. They've got a lot of musical guests. Yeah, I think sometimes. that's some, something that's like in my feed but that I don't uh, always choose to listen to. Yeah, it just depends on you know who's going on. The Thundercats are go- not the Thundercats. Thundercat. Argo. Yeah. Rick uh, Beto Beato. I've seen his YouTube channel. It's pretty good. I subscribed to his YouTube channel. That yeah. guy's pretty cool. He has a podcast too. Would you listen to Ian's music podcast if you had one? Oh yeah, just so I could get right up on my blog and critique the hell out of it. <laughs> All right, so Ian's starting a podcast. <laughs> Justin's starting a blog. Yeah, that's right. I'm excited about that. Ian's the only podcast that I review. <laughs> And I just like pages and pages of pretentious, just using words out of context. Yeah, yeah. sure. He's good at that. He's great at that, actually. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, we should start a podcast. I bet. I, I think we should do a podcast. You and I. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Of course. I just feel like we I have rotating guests. I mean, right. it's just hard to kind of get on a schedule of doing mm-hmm. it. So we could have Cody, our mm-hmm. buddy Cody, who we're gonna bust his balls eventually. Oh yeah. He's making like a piano EP, so he'll be out here soon, for sure awesome idea podcast and i think we could probably even take the audio from some of the live feeds and turn it into the podcast that's true into a podcast do i play baritone oh, guitars let me tell you something i don't regret selling much gear but i really uh i miss uh my baritone telecaster that i had that was such an awesome guitar yeah, you had a cool baritone had a very cool yeah and um but here's what i found is through playing and recording it was kind of hard to find a place for it uh I, whenever i was like arranging and it's like well when do i use this and then where does it sit in the mix and all that stuff and so you know i think it definitely even if you're playing in the same register as a guitar though it has a completely different timber i mean like the yeah, pickups are different the true. strings are thicker you know so <clears throat> yeah baritone guitars are cool yeah. i would like to have a baritone acoustic before i die you know? Didn't Scott have one? Did he have a baritone acoustic or no? You're talking about Scott Cook? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he didn't own one, but the store had one. Okay. Yeah, we had a tailor. Yeah. I, I don't really have a lot of experience playing baritone guitars. Acoustic basses are cool, but I mean, they don't... Uh, I think they're kind of a novelty. Yeah, yeah they're totally like, a novelty. I love the idea of an acoustic bass yeah. more than I actually like an acoustic bass. Yeah, for certain. And it's like... I mean, even when you plug it in, like, the, the pickup system on an acoustic bass doesn't sound that great. Yeah, it really doesn't. Yeah. I think you'd be better off to get, like, uh, an Ampeg, like, 40-watt 1x10, like, it's an easy, small amp, and carry that along with your electric bass. And then you can still play with your friends as long as you can plug in. And, I mean, if... if I mean... 
I don't know. I guess if you're playing at the beach, you probably don't want to bring your gear like that. Yeah. So. Unless we're talking about an upright acoustic bass. Oh, in which case... That would be awesome. That's like the classiest that thing. Oh, okay. Hello so from Germany, funny. guten tag! <laughs> uh, yeah, an upright acoustic bass. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Just because it's like... Is it the biggest instrument that you can have? Yeah, Like sure. the biggest practical instrument? Yeah. yeah. Acoustic or electric? Preference. Mm, that's really hard. That is so hard. That's hard. Here's the thing. Me right now, I'm obsessed with electric guitar. I've been really working on um, like my lead playing and stuff like that. But uh, when I picture myself at like 60 years old with like my pet German Shepherd smoking a cigar, I'm Wait, doing... the German Shepherd smoking a cigar? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't smoke <laughs> a cigar. I'm like, the German Shepherd is. He's, like, he's got PTSD. He can Man, have a I know. I'm sorry. I'll get then off I would, this case. I would do finger style uh, acoustic for sure. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's... That's cool. All right. I, I still think I'm minimalist at heart. Yeah. So I'm all about kind of acoustic mm -hmm. right now. But, I mean, yeah. electric, every time I plug in electric, I'm like, why don't I play more electric? So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And now you, you got know, the pedal board. You don't have to choose. And my pedal board is becoming it's, more and more on point as we right. speak. You don't have a timeline yet, do you? I'm, I have a timeline coming. Uh, Striving timeline. Get ready for some videos, y'all. Yeah. Uh, I just ball busted a site called Asylum on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's kind of early for that, right? I guess it depends on what time. Like, different, yeah. different. Ball. <laughs> oh man, could you do a lesson on Richie Katzen's style? Maybe I've never tried to play Richie Katzen's music. Actually, I don't. I have to be honest, and I don't even know who that is. I don't blame you for not knowing who Richie Katzen was. I didn't know who he was until Brian Spainhauer introduced me to him. Oh, he's yeah. like, you got to check out Richie Katzen. I don't know why more people don't know about Richie Katzen, but he's like such a beast. He's a. Uh, he's known for being a good guitar. He player. looks. And sings like Chris Cornell. Yeah. But he just like destroys electric guitar mm -hmm. in a non shred way and just like a cool rock mm -hmm. way. Yeah. What's your favorite Radiohead song from Allie? Allie, what is going on? Where are you at? You in Tampa or New York? I don't even know where she is. Allie, I played I played a live show with Allie. Oh, that last that's, week. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh huh. We crushed it. All right, favorite. Radiohead and now she's song. asking. Damn. I kind of feel like can she's sarcastically two? asking my two? favorite Radiohead song, but. Yeah, you can pick two, of course. All right, 15 Step and Wolf at the Door. Mm -hmm. Leaving for New York Monday. Mm -hmm. Ellie, I will see you soon. You said what? 15 Step? 15 Step. From and Wolf, Ray, at, the and Wolf at the Door? Oh, my really? God. Wolf at the Door is so good. Man, yeah. that's kind of a unique answer, oh. for sure. Yeah. But see, that's the thing is it's like <clears throat> Wolf at the Door and Life in a Glass House are two of my favorite songs, hands down, but they can't be my favorite song. You know what I mean? Because they're not... They're, they're yeah, still out there. That's true. So then it would have to be Airbag or 15 Step, and then I pick 15 Step. Because I'm going to pick Airbag. Yeah, I know. Because I always pick Airbag. And I want to be a poser. Yeah. Video of the live show. <laughs> yeah. Do we have. Ellie, you've got, you've got video of that, right? I didn't take any video. I was you should have called me. You too know, that I'm an entrepreneur and I'm starting my own AV you know, company. I didn't know that. Uh, well, you, and, you and everybody else. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have any good ones. We're going to have to go back. Load up guns, bring your friends, Mad Max, Fury Road. Not sure Road. what that means. I haven't seen Mad Max yet. Isn't that crazy? That's so stupid. How do you rate other YouTube guitar teachers? I mean, I judge them harshly. Hardcore. Yeah. There's, that, there's one guy that I just cannot stand. He has this thing called the Stitch Method. It's like the, it's like the dumbest thing. Here's the thing. It's he like... figured out the cage cord method. <laughs> he sells it as his own. You know, millions of people are, are out money. He's worse than like any scammer I ever met. Yeah, the stitch method. I'm pretty sure it's called the cage cord system. <laughs> but for fish songs. But that being said, I am rolling out the Justin Mitchell method of guitar. Oh, what's that? Um, well, so basically, here's the deal. A lot of notes, it. you know... They, they're the same. Yeah. You know? Yeah, sure. So what I'm saying is, like, just look out for that. A lot of notes, you know. I've got the Sean Daniel method coming out oh, yeah, soon. Yeah, what's that? I'm going to take the minor scale. Right. I'm going to subtract two notes, make it a five note scale. I'm going to have different positions okay. around the neck. Yeah, I like this. And it's going to well, be. But will they connect? Oh, yeah. There's going to be five ways nice. to connect them. The Sean Daniel method That's right. coming soon. It's going to be good. Uh,. <laughs> Gabriella Covedo or Julia Lange? I don't, even, I don't even know who they are. I bet you call it the bitch method when he isn't around. That's pretty good. More Ian hating. <laughs> See, people already like the Sean Daniel method. Up. I like it. Messed up. Where is Ian? So, oh, yeah, so Ian's family's gone for like seven weeks, right? And I'm like, all right, we're going to get some buddy time in, maybe have a sleepover, make some music, finish that song that we've been working on forever. Mm. Guess what? He's building like a swimming pool, like by hand. 
Like he's like, he sent me it a will picture. leak. It's he gonna be sent bad. me a picture, and it's like he just like f- like took a shovel and like flipped the the sod in his yard, and he's got this swimming pool shaped thing of upturned grass. And I'm like, you're gonna build a swimming pool? I'm like, Ian, this is like, I feel like people need to experience building a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's like building a pool right now. That's why he's not here. Courtney killed Kurt. Any thoughts? I don't. I don't think so. Courtney Love killed Kurt Cobain. Oh, that's what he's talking so? about. Oh my God, I don't know. I don't mm. know. Probably, pro- somebody died. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> somebody. Probably. Somebody killed somebody. Yeah, the internet said so. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Courtney yeah. Love. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a shotgun, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think yeah, Courtney Love a, killed anybody. I don't think so either, man. I think she's, uh, she's a kind soul. She's a beautiful soul, really. I guess. Yeah. I don't know if I go that far. I don't know. Anything else you want to hate on? A swimming hole like it's from West Virginia. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically it's, what it's going to turn into. Like right now it's squared off. It's a rectangle that looks like it's going to be a pool. I have my doubts about it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see Ian. Anything else you want to hate on Ian about? No. Can't really think of it. Hate on each other. Oh, man, that's real hard. I don't have Hate a, on each other? I can't really oh, hate on what, Sean. I mean, we could hate on each other. We could hate on me easy enough. I don't have it in my heart. Man, it's I beautiful. Don't, I don't have it in my he's heart. Such a, he's such a good guy. Don't. Hi from Korea. What's up? Greetings from, from Korea. Korea. Are you a Nirvana fan? Or ask him. Uh, am I personally a Nirvana yeah. fan? Mm-hmm. You know, growing up, I think that I I knew the hits, you know, but I, I, I was never like a, a Get Lost in one of their albums kind of fan. So yeah, I, I, never... I think I would be uh, disingenuous to say that I was a fan. Mm-hmm. Um, Russian rock bands, I don't know any any like at, like Russian rock bands rock bands but i um i'm uh i'm like not worldly so i know like a tons of metal bands from all over uh europe and scandinavia i don't know where they're from though you know like yeah turn us on to some good russian yeah, that rock would be bands, great yeah for sure comment let me know what they're in. i'll listen to them you know, I, yeah sure. i don't know now uh, i think among classical composers mm-hmm. the russians are my favorite for sure i'm, oh, big, yeah. I'm a big yeah. rachmaninoff fan yeah for sure even though i wonder because he moved to america I'd be interested to hear what Russians actually think oh, about yeah. Rachmaninoff. If I'm looking at Rachmaninoff through the prism of an American thinking he's listening uh-huh. to Russian music, right. or if it's like actually a, like a Russian composer because he's, you know, moved to America. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear. What time is it here? It's too early here. It's something like 8.30 yeah, in the morning. Yeah, 8.30-ish, 8.45. A lot of Russian rock like bands, like... Mummy Troll? Aria and Mummy Troll. That's cool. All That's right. a cool name. I'm done. I'm in it. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. He used minimalism unlike anyone else. Mm-hmm. Talking about Ian or Rachmaninoff? <laughs> Sean the Mighty Dragon was making video. Oh, yeah. I've, the Mighty Dragon? Yeah, this one guy started calling me like a Mighty Dragon. And that was cool. That's but cool. I haven't been called it in a while. Thanks. Thanks for coming back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mummy Troll's pretty good. All right. We have it from uh, from people with good taste. Mm-hmm. Because I know that guy. That yeah. guy's he was a Fiona Apple fan. All right, all right. My all man, right. We'll Donatus. Yeah. All right. Mummy Troll. I'm going to check out some Mummy Troll mm-hmm. today. It's on my list. As long as it's on Apple Music. That's really the only way I can like listen to stuff is Dude, like put it on Apple Music. Amazon Music is uh, my favorite thing in the entire world. You used Amazon Music. Yeah, You're I do. the first person I know that oh has told God. me that. It's so good. Everything is free, and well, I'm, I pay the eighty dollars a year for like the what they call their for unlimited. Prime, right? Yeah. No, no, so no, I think no I not for too. Prime. No, uh, there's one just for music. It's called. Uh, so they have Amazon Music where a lot of stuff is free. And then they have uh, um, Amazon Music Unlimited, where like pretty much everything is free. Like the new Tycho album was day one free. The new um, really yeah the uh, new Com True's album was day one free. Anyways, so like whatever's coming out is always free. Taylor versus Gibson Acoustics. That's not fair, man. You play a J forty five, then you play eight ten, and it's like obviously I want the They're Taylor. I yeah, mean, I'm, <laughs> they are different. Obviously, I yeah, want the Taylor. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, I'm not. Here's the thing: you gotta think about the type of music you play. Like, I don't play thumpy Travis Pick and bluegrass kind of stuff, and the J forty five. You know, like those types of Gibsons really shine at that. I would know? say probably I'm more of a Taylor guy. Mm-hmm. That being said, the greatest guitar I ever played was in his shop once. That. uh Hummingbird, remember that hummingbird that came in? That was a nice guitar. Was that was like a 1969. Yeah, that was a legitimate uh, U.S. made vintage uh, that Gibson was, hummingbird. That was, that awesome. was a very nice guitar. I kind of regret not making moves and snagging that. It was pretty beat yeah. up though. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. Uh, man, they're flying through. How do you guys memorize all the gazillion chord names? Here's the thing. It it's just like in uh, judo. Like, <clears throat> all the the Japanese names for judo throws were super confusing at first. But then every word 
uh, gives you a hint as to what it is. So then you learn, um, like, uh, like this word means major, this word means outer, this word means reap. So then when you, you know, you put these together and like, oh, that's the major outer reap. So the same thing with guitar chords. When you learn what each thing means, you're not memorizing this chord, you're actually just looking at what it is and then putting the pieces together. It's so much less about memorization and more about like, uh, um, I'm not, I know, <laughs> I know. I'm not sure people was, can relate with the I'll it out there, comparison. we'll see what happens, you know? But so like when you, when you learn like what, what it means when a chord name has a seven in it or what it means when a chord name has an add nine, uh, what an inversion is and all that stuff, then you just look at what's under your fingers. And I think that's more effective is learning how to build chords and learning to know what's going on. I know. All right, pump the brakes, okay? I was just throwing it out there. Don't make me the weird. You guys are weird for not doing what the, the With the judo and that. I know. And so... Uh, Anyways, the point is is that um, you know learning to construct the chords is way better than memorizing chords. Especially on guitar, because yeah. so much is implied, and yeah. you can kind of like perceive different chords as being different things. Mm -hmm. Whereas like on a piano, you might have a 1, a 3, a flat 7, a 9, 11, and a 13. You're not going to have all those on a guitar. So it's like, okay, well here's the 1, here's the 3, all right, so that's major. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, there's like, you know, the 2 again, okay, so it's a major right, 9, right, yeah. you know, like stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's... Once you start thinking about it, it gets easier. Because I remember too, I was like, how do you know these chords? Like, how do you... Right. Yeah. And, and also, also on bias, first of all, someone asked uh, how I'm drinking, and I'm, or how I'm drinking. How I'm drinking is with my mouth. What I'm drinking is uh, Sean's famous espresso. Yeah. Very famous. Uh-huh. It's just, it looks cool. I should have had an espresso. But, you know, I'm biased because uh, the way that I learned to play guitar was by learning arpeggios and learning yep. the fretboard and learning chords and things like that. So You're a fan of the Grimoire books, right? Isn't that kind oh, of what yeah. you were yeah. into yeah. first? That's exactly what I did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just bought a book and a bunch of patterns and then they started, eventually the patterns started repeating themselves and making sense and then, you know, yeah. Good stuff, man. Mm -hmm. The Grimoire books. I never actually got into those. I always wanted to because they look so cool. You well, know? the thing is, is that they're more for reference at this point. Have I ever played... No, I don't even know what that you is. You know what Bra Jenga is? No. My Victoria's Secret Story. No. I told my Victoria's Secret Stories uh, last week or two weeks ago. When I worked at Victoria's Secret, you knew yeah. that, right? How do yeah. you memorize the notes vertically? Okay, we're going to come back to that, but what is Bra Jenga? You know, I never told you this. All right. <clears throat> so an abbreviated version, you can hear the whole Victoria's Secret history on the previous video mm -hmm. with Ian. But I worked at Victoria's Secret for that one summer, right? You didn't know this? They hire males? You didn't know? How do you not know this? No. Yeah, I worked at Victoria's Secret for a summer. I can't believe you don't know this. This has never come up before. And uh, I'd be in the back room a lot, and we'd get these huge shipments of bras. Mm -hmm. So they'd have, like, a giant pile of bras that I'd have to, like, go through and kind of, like, check the tags on and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I had, like, a workstation, like any, you know, good worker has. Mm-hmm. Right, mm -hmm. like any artisan would have a work a workstation right. full full of bras, okay, mm -hmm. and eventually get a little boring. So I would venture out onto the floor, out from the back room, out of the floor, right, and I and I'd be dressed to the nines, mm -hmm. and I'd be swaggering out of control, and I would pick a beautiful Victoria's Secret customer, and I'd ask her if she wanted to go play broad Jenga in the back room with me. Which sounds creepy when I say it out loud, but uh, I actually kind of had this whole thing down. And then we'd go, and we'd go to my giant pile of bras, and you'd take one bra from the bottom of the pile and put it on the top until the pile fell over. And then when it fell over, which it would, it's a lot harder than you would think because of all like the clasps and no, the straps. No, it sounds almost impossible to do it even Yeah, once. because you'd have to like really contort yeah, yourself. Right. You know, to kind of get the perfect What was your end game? Extraction. I mean, that's a great question. I still don't really know what my end game is. Yeah, but, uh, the Grimoire books are awesome. I still have, I gave away some of them, uh, but I, uh, uh, um, they're good for references. You keep them around. Sean. Yeah. Bra Jenga. Yeah, Bra Jenga is tough. No end game. Uh huh. What do you mean there's no end game? No, Matt, I asked what your end game was, and you said you didn't know. I mean, the end game is always kind of the same. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the end game doesn't change. <laughs> the best ending line from Ian ever, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Ian thing. Yeah. He actually told everyone to f his mouth at the end of that video. You should watch that. Video. <laughs> Wait. Ian. Ian actually cursed. No. He said f my mouth. Why would he say that? Because he had like all this dental surgery done. He had like thought like seven thousand dollars in dental surgery done. Oh man, I have to have all my wisdom teeth out. I'm uh, I'm almost twenty nine. Seriously? I gotta get all four of them out. No. Yeah. One of them is growing literally 
the opposite direction it should. Ah. It's like growing into my other teeth. Jesus. So I have to have an, uh, an actual surgeon come in and dig them out of my mouth. I've got my wisdom teeth still. I mean, got them that's all. why you're so sagacious. Yeah. You're <laughs> the sagaciousness is pretty <laughs> off the charts for yeah. sure. So wait a minute. Well, you, you just recently found this out? Yeah. When is this happening? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I found out in May, and I just kind of got to get the money together. You know, I, I have a dental oh. plan, a dental insurance plan. But awesome. since I have to have an orthopedic surgeon take them out, they might be covered by my medical insurance. So it'd be less. Not that this is really exciting. On, Let's man. go back to the dude's I question. always thought if you got your wisdom teeth out, <clears throat> mm -hmm. I would want to keep the teeth. Oh, yeah. I would put them in a jar you know? with, with like, <laughs> something, and I would leave them up. You know? Like, it's not it's not yeah. every day you get a legitimate reason to keep human teeth. Right, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a little necklace. We could have a contest. Um, you know, it reminds me of it reminds me of judo, and mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot like it's a lot like jujitsu. You know, <laughs> when you're keeping different belts. That's right. So such. when when you're learning the notes on the fretboard vertically, like he asked, it's a yeah. lot like uh, Muay Thai. So when you learn these, no, I'm just okay. I'm done. The joke. I wish I knew all. It the wasn't funny types the first time. Uh, the second time, it almost was funny. No, the third, you got to say Muay Thai. That was yeah. successful. Yeah. That was a successful venture into it. <sighs> That's right. Yeah, so Ian, Ian, wow, Ian and you both falling under the dental surgery. <clears throat> yeah, other than that, my teeth are healthy, you know, uh, so that was good, but, uh, but yeah, they need to rip them out. Yeah, I want to, God, this just sounds awful. I'm keeping, I'm keeping all my teeth. You can pry my teeth from my cold, dead mouth, thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's what, that's what it is. A lot of people don't know you that. You practice Muay Thai yeah. on well, you a, get, a pad you get, you get a pad Thai under each feet, and then you, like, scoot around, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> I love pad thai, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Actually, my favorite Thai food is the thing called Chiang Mai noodle, and it's like this coconut milk soup. I lied to you. I do like coconut oh! milk. Oh! <laughs> what? All right, I've been busted. <laughs> yeah, pad thai is good. Pad thai is the best. Chiang Mai noodle is basically like the soup version. It's so good. See, I am such a Thai noob, but I love Thai food, mm -hmm. so I'm very intimidated by the menu because I don't really know what anything oh, is. Oh, man. That's... The thing is, uh, when you go to those kinds of places, you have to just, like, eat whatever it is, you know? Yeah. Well. Actually, so my friend uh, Raju is from India, and uh, he took me out to eat Indian food, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and he's one of the guys who really got me to like, you know, break out and and try try new, just eat whatever it is. And so I was thinking about starting a travel channel show that says it looks like poo but tastes delicious. That's, right? Man, that's because great. There's like a ton of, of of ethnic foods that look look awful but taste delicious. They really do. Yeah. yeah. There's some weird stuff out there. You know, but they mm. but they're delicious. Pad Thai is gay. Come on now. Look at yeah. Look at these. Yeah, let's let's keep it a little more mature. Come on. In the comments section. Pad Thai section. is delicious. It's Pad peanuts and chicken and sprouts sometimes, depending yeah, on where you go. Yeah, whatever. Hi from any. Have you tried butter chicken? You're just talking butter about chicken. butter chicken, butter chicken, right? Chicken is good. My favorite is vegetable korma. That's my favorite dish. Period. I love that stuff. Korma is that with a Q? With a K. K O R. K. I think. I don't know. Ask him. Mm -hmm. Vegetable korma. I would eat a scorpion. Scorpion Are you ready? On a stick? I would try it. Is your mind ready to try insects, Justin? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll try it. You're gonna. You're really gonna eat some insects? Yeah, why not? Hmm. No, he spelled it. Okay, cool. See, this is why the sub. The subs are so wise. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I learn more from you all. Yeah. Than you learn from us. Yeah, yeah. For sure, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, you think we've hated enough on on things? Right, let me let me see if I got any you more. You wanna? Hate. Yeah. Really, really try to rack your soul for as much hate as possible. Yeah, I think all my hate's out. I got, you know... Very therapeutic. Yeah. Cathartic. Hey, Ian! Ian's here! <laughs> Ian, so good to see you, buddy. We've been talking about you a lot. <laughs> of course you just woke up. <laughs> How's the pool coming? <laughs> How's the pool? <laughs> He already knows. He already knows what we've been talking about. Yeah, Ian, please tell us how's the how's the pool building coming? Was I not supposed to tell people about that? <laughs> They're all quit telling on us, you tattlers! Jesus, come on, you know your mom. <laughs> oh man, it sucks. Yeah, I would imagine it would suck to build a pool by yourself yeah. with no pool building experience. You know, it just sucks that we live in a country where you can't hire somebody to do something like that for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. If only. Oh man, that's hilarious. It's a surprise. Okay. Yeah. Well, first of all, your children aren't going to be watching my live feed. Oh, you did hire. <laughs> you hired somebody. Okay. All right. Anyways, 
I think we might make a special vlog edition of Ian's pool party when it first comes out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we're ever invited over, which we never are. No. Thank you, Ian. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, exactly. See, this guy gets it. Building a pool is a lot like jujitsu. You know? <laughs> can, can you explain the how? <laughs> well, you know, like you, it's you know, you there's you know different levels to it. You know, yeah, yeah. I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Start up. They both start with a shovel. You know what else? Uh, balancing the chemicals in a pool is also like the balance it takes. Oh, exactly. To kind of be oh, yeah. on oh, as, yeah. a, as a That's fighter. Right. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it sounds like Ian. Uh, <laughs> Ian's back to the pool. Is fish coming to eat? Yeah. Well, he maybe. got he got the cover band trout to show up. <laughs> I guy just got nabbed by YouTube for sending too many na nasty. Oh man. Ian did? Yeah, I think there's a thing that like if you start spamming with messages, mm -hmm. it'll like shut you down. Is it to like prevent bots or? I jerks? think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it's to prevent. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Sorry. Well, well, I guess we'll have to hear more about uh, Ian's partially a Ian's robot. adventures next time. What balances with urine? Chlorine. Are we talking about jujitsu or a pool pools? thing? Uh -huh. I mean, like, just don't don't pee when you're when you're when you're sparring. But like in the pool, you can pee. It's I cool. thought I heard that like in long sparring sessions, like jujitsu mm -hmm. fighters will like actually urinate on themselves. Well, that's if they have the catheter. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, right, that's cool. It's a saltwater pool. No, it's not. It's a, yeah. See, if you pee when you're looking at the sun, you'll sneeze and it'll go everywhere. <laughs> uh, well, I think on that we're gonna end wrap this up. It's been good. It's been good bust, ball busting with Sean and Justin, well, <laughs> which is <laughs> it's a good title, so right? Good. What's better, ball busting with Sean and Justin or Ian and Sean in the dawn? Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to pull the people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like we need to bust more balls though, and maybe not today, but like in the future for mm -hmm. sure. I should come more prepared. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, Sean and Justin. Yeah, great ball busting. Thanks everybody for hanging out. I'll make sure to uh, get more dirt on Ian. And then we'll talk more about uh, that. Nothing with Justin. Ian, come on, man. Keep, keep it classy. God, this is God, a family is, establishment. Yeah, this is, and this is why we have to leave because Ian just went there. Yeah, and also, like, you're getting a saltwater pool. You can have, like, sharks, you know, beach themselves and come up and get in the pool. It's terrible. It's yeah, terrible. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. How many, yeah, I don't even want to get into that. But, anyways, thanks for coming, everybody. We'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.